Hello guys, welcome to the Power BI course. Today you are going to learn about query parameters. Um, so there is a report parameters as well. However, we are going to learn that when we design our report later on in this series. For today, we are going to learn about query parameters. Okay. So first of all, what is parameter? So uh, parameter is like a a placeholder so uh, it can hold one value and give you a data accordingly you can imagine that it's like empty container and you can put it whatever you want and you can change the uh, item however the container is going to stay there so I think this is the simplest analogy that I can explain uh, so let's get started on this video so I'm going to use a table from SQL Server um, and I'm going to use a direct query mode. Okay, so I'm here in a Power BI desktop home screen and from this data ribbon I'm going to use SQL Server. Okay, I'm going to give my server name and from data connectivity mode select a direct query and click OK. okay. So here is my, my all databases and I'm going to use this AdventureWorks 2019 database and I am going to pick a reseller table. So this is uh, data is all about reseller. So reseller name, um, their business type, the product line, um, maybe yearly annual revenue and etc. Okay. And I'm going to select a transform data so it can bring me to the power query. Okay, so I have my table loaded here in a Power Query and I'm just going to quickly look at the columns and I'm going to select this column business type. So if I click on this little down arrow and then I can see that there are three different business types. So we are going to create a parameter on this field. Okay. So I select business type field or column and I'm going to right click on it and select this last option add as new query. So basically I'm looking for uh, three business types in a list. Okay. So I'm going to remove duplicates. So here is our business type and list. You can see this logo. This is not same as query because it has only one column and it is a list. So click on this, on uh, right click on this and remove duplicates. So we can get the three category of the business type, the distinct value of the column. Okay. Now uh, go back to the deemed reseller query and to create the parameter we are on the Power Query home um, screen uh, and from that ribbon I'm going to use a parameter tab and manage parameter and then select a new parameter. Okay, we have to give a parameter name so I'm going to select like select business type. So that is my parameter name and I'm going to copy and paste here in description as well because it explains that this is the parameter description. Okay. Now uh, from this type of the parameter I'm going to leave as it is otherwise you can choose the right category. Then the suggested value uh, there is a any value so you can Leave that and you can give current value as one of that business type here. 
So it's manually one value we give that that is any value. Uh, you can choose list of values. So we have a three values, so we can add all three here, all three business types. Okay. However, I'm going to choose a query. So query is the same as this or similar as a list, but query going to allow you to select the query. And this query is our business type name list, which the list I created from the business type column. Okay. Why I am choosing the query instead of the list? Because when you select the list, then you have to give manually, you have to enter the categories here. So for example, let's say down there maybe in future, we have a fourth type of business type, fourth category in business type, then you have to come back here and then you have to manually put it that. Instead of that, if I choose the query, then what will happen that whenever you have a fourth type of business type, then this business type list as well going to update it. And so you do not need to manually give that. Okay. So in the current value then I'm going to put it warehouse because that is the one type of the business type. So you have to give one as a current value. So I'm giving a warehouse. Okay. And click OK. Okay. So now we have our parameter select business type and uh, the default current value is warehouse where we have a business type list as well and we have a, our main query. So now select on main query and select on the business type column and we wanted to filter it. Uh, so select on this little arrow, uh, click on this little arrow and select the text filter and equals. So we wanted to filter this column with parameter though. So business type column equals and then this box here, just there is a drop down arrow. Select that or click that and select parameters. And then you we have our uh, parameter here, select business type. There is only one, so it's got selected. Okay. So now what is happening that this column is going to filter by our parameter and click OK. Okay, so as you can see that it filtered the data. However, not with the regular filter, it uses the parameter to filter the data. Okay, now I'm going to close and apply that and go back to the Power BI desktop. So now our data is loaded in Power BI Desktop and you can see that uh, this is our query team reseller and this is our list business type, okay? So I'm going to get one visual table from the visual pane and I'm going to put it some field here. So let's see, uh, we have uh, annual sales here. So I'm going to put it annual sales and by the product line. So we need to increase the font size. So here on the on the visual, okay. So here on the visualization, when you choose the visual, then you have a next steps here about the visual. So format your visual, just select that. And you can go to the values and increase the font size. So that and for the column headers, headers as well, I'm going to put it my uh, text size or the font size, okay? So here you can see that my, uh, the product line is three different types again, the mountain, road and touring. And uh, you have a sum of the annual sales as well on that. So now remember that we use the business type of warehouse. So let's see, um, so from a Power BI desktop home screen, there is a query ribbon, uh, the query uh, location on the ribbon. 
and you can choose the transform data and click on that little arrow and go to the edit parameters which is third option so edit parameters and as we selected our parameters um, warehouse so it this data is belongs to the one type of the business type which is warehouse when i select the other the data will change okay so we'll go on specialty bike shop and click on okay and apply changes so our specialty bike shop data uploaded now and um, this is the way user can use it so basically um, when uh, when your query mode is direct query and you have a huge data file or huge table then what I do that uh, I know that I have to use a direct query because my user want fresh data all the time. But when I know that when I use a direct query, then it's going to take a lot of time to get the data. Because in direct query mode, you remember that we don't have that data here. So now we have only that list here. But when you click on this deem reseller, there is no table because direct query only um, only make connection when you ask for a data. So I use uh, Power Query uh, parameters at that time when I have a huge table and uh, my query is on direct mode. So my user, let's say uh, for example in this case, you have a three different people or manager or salesperson and they look after only each of their categories. Someone is looking after warehouse, someone is looking after specialty bike shop uh, and someone is looking after value added reseller they all three they do not need to see all the data on their side they can only want their data like warehouse person or manager can only need a warehouse data to see and in that case then uh, you can uh, you can uh, use a parameter and give a data your user want and you can load it quickly okay so uh, this is all about uh, query parameter guys uh, thanks for watching and if you like the content of the video then please uh, like share comment and subscribe my channel channel if you do not like even though comment it so I can make my videos better okay thanks for watching